MDF and IDF, which is also nothing. As you can see, we have one main building. Then we have like other campuses if you want. Like this is a main campus, and these are sub campus, and they want connectivity all all the way end to end. How they want? They will install one MDF is here, which is main distribution frame, which will be connected to sub or IDF intermediate distribution frame. So, so this campus can communicate with this one. If this one communicate this one, it will go through MDF. So basic idea behind that is first of all end to end connectivity as well as the redundancy. If you want to read, you can read like a cable rack MDF. We've talked about the MDF, a cable rack that interconnects and manages the IP or telecommunication wiring between itself and a number of IDFs. So we have number of IDFs. Okay, so this is the basic uh, reason we have MDF, and then IDF is the, an intermediate distribution frame. So these are intermediate uh, distribution frame. These are wall mounting racks uh, for managing and interconnecting the cable between the user devices and main distribution. So these are basically uh, for to communicate with IDF, it has to go through MDF. So this is a new concept, by the way, being used in these days. If somebody is saying that uh, your MDF frame is down or somebody is saying, uh, please, can you go to your IDF? So you have better idea what he's talking about. So evolution of technology, uh, since you know it's my habit to add uh, the new concepts, uh, although you are at very basic levels, but so what? Uh, you you should have idea about what is going on in our uh, you know uh, the this uh, the new uh, technologies and what is happening and uh, what you are basically what is uh, the new evolutions going on in our technology. So you must have a better understanding and idea about these uh, technologies. So today what I'm going to talk about is the DNS center. Okay, in old days what used to happen? You remember I talked about. That, for example, if you have, uh, uh, let's say you have multiple switches in your architecture network, then uh, you have, let's say, firewalls, uh, then you have databases, then you have file servers you have uh, like uh, wireless LAN controllers, just consider, assume it like wireless LAN controller. In our old days, what used to happen? They had these all devices have separate IP addresses, okay? And then administrator, oh, sorry. Then administrator is basically sitting here, IT admin, and he will just get the IPs of these all devices one by one. He will, um, you know, access, let's suppose this device, he will make configuration. Okay. Sometime he has to go into another system in another closet and he has to perform the same thing like configuration. Then here he has to come another closet and do something. Okay. So that was a, a pain. So for the solution, to resolve that pain is a DNS center. We have a single pane here. Let's say this is Cisco C, uh, C, uh, DNS center and your network administrator is sitting here. This is a single pane of glass from where he is looking everything. He is looking about these ISC devices. He's, he's looking uh, about these switches. He's looking at uh, these wireless and controllers. He's looking at the router. He's looking at these uh, edge devices, clients, fabric access points, so many things, even what in IT infrastructure you have. You have a single pane of glass from where he is looking at these all things and configuring. 
even if he want to automate something he can automate what are the benefits i have added here if you are interested you can go through a lot in detail by googling it out dns center and you will have better idea so it is written with a cisco dns center you apply a policy to the user application instead of your network devices cisco dns center allow you to run the network with with open interface with it and business application integration across it operation and technology domains and can manage heterogeneous network devices heterogeneous means multiple devices no matter where they are what they are doing we have one single uh, device you can say device or uh, the pane from where you can see everything what it can do you can design a network that topology you can run some kind of policies for example on this edge device if you want to run you can do it from here you can do auto provisioning you remember i talked about the provisioning uh you have to go into that device and you will do it but in in dns center you don't need to go into that device dns center will do the auto provisioning for you then you can do topology map and diagrams and you can control wireless technology and whatever so this is the new concept you are going to hit if you uh, will go a lot in detail and uh, if you go proceed for the future studies for the ccnp and even for the ccie uh, you are going to come across the dns center 